Hey, welcome back to another video. I have something really special for you guys today. I'm gonna to be doing a review on the new Arcteryx Atom LT. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing the uh, conifer color, but I also have the ether color as well. Uh, so before we dive in to the performance and stuff like that, I just wanna talk a little bit about the actual fit and appearance of it. Some of you may know this, but Arcteryx changes their colors every season. So for 2022, these are some of the colors that you can see today. There's also a really popular one, which is called Solitude, which is this really beautiful white jacket. Uh, coming in at around $320 Canadian uh, for the hooded and $300 for the non-hooded version. Uh, this is honestly a must have in your bag. So for 2022, Arcteryx decided to adjust the fit a little bit. So this year's model, the sides over here are just a little bit slimmer uh, to kind of keep the warmth in more instead of the baggier uh, versions in 2021 and the previous years before that. Um, the center back from here down below to the tip here is actually 29.1 inches or about 74 centimeters. Um, so it's a little bit longer as expected as well. Um, so for taller people, um, you guys are going to be totally fine, especially when you hunch down and bend over and pick up stuff like that, uh, you'll be totally protected and warm. So right now I'm actually wearing a large size, I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 at 160 pounds. Um, so I'm wearing a large size because I found that the mediums fit me absolutely perfectly but there's not much room underneath for layering or the freedom of mobility is, is kind of lacking. So I decided to go up a size um, and pick large. If I'm wearing a shell on top of this, it still fits perfectly fine or wearing other jackets, it, it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing this jacket underneath. The jacket face fabric is made out of a durable water resistant Tino or Tino 20 face fabric. Um, and this is an incredibly soft nylon-like material um, that Arcteryx created, but still allows high warmth and high breathability. Inside the jacket is 60 grams of Korloff synthetic insulation, which is Arcteryx's synthetic insulation. Um, as some of you might not know, um, synthetic insulation keeps you warm even when wet, as opposed to down. Um, when it gets wet, it doesn't keep you as warm. This jacket weighs around 375 grams or about 0.82 pounds. So if you're planning on taking this on a backpacking trip or a hike, you can always just compact this into a small bag and then just shove it in your bag and it, it weighs basically nothing. So there aren't many notable features about this jacket. Um, it's kind of just your run of the mail jacket. It's got the two hand pockets. Both of them are fleece lined, but only on the outer side uh, or the backhand side. Um, and it's quite large, it's enough to fit a book. And on the inner chest you have um, another pocket as well, and it's just slightly smaller, but it's still large enough to more or less fit a book. The inside of the jacket as well as the hood have adjustable straps to help you cinch down uh, if you want a closer fit. I do also want to mention that the straps on the side of the jacket um, don't have that little buckle, so it's kind of more difficult to adjust the uh, straps, um, just something to keep in mind. The cuffs are not adjustable, so wearing this jacket um, with a watch can be a little bit annoying, but they're large enough and stretchy enough to kind of slip your watch out, so it's not that big of a deal. The sides of the jacket up to the armpits are the stretchy fleece material, uh, and that's to help with comfort and extra breathability. So this jacket is absolutely phenomenal for high output activities like hiking, running, climbing, stuff like that. Um, and it's really due to its high breathability from this material and also the insulation itself. Um, I would say that this jacket is best between 8 to 15 degrees Celsius. But if you're going to be in colder climates or maybe doing lower output activities, you can easily throw on a shell or throw on another insulated jacket on top of it to uh, keep you warmer. All in all, I think this jacket is so fantastic. It's lightweight, it's warm and flexible. Um, it's great for any outdoor activities for pretty much all the seasons, maybe not summer, um, but it makes such an, a great addition to your kit um, and it'll keep you nice and warm in the cold months. So I do highly suggest you pick one up. If you haven't yet, it's definitely worth checking out. If you guys like this content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you guys on the next one.